Social Facilitation by Brooklyn, Ashley, and Anna. In this study, we are examining the influence of social facilitation on track and field athletes' performances by examining whether an event that relies on gross motor skills, which is our sprints, if they demonstrate the effect of social facilitation better than an event that requires fine motor skills, which is discus. We are attempting to determine whether the more learned skill-based event of throwing a discus will show a higher level of social facilitation among athletes in comparison to more instinctual sport of sprinting. Our hypothesis is that the learned fine motor control skills of discus would demonstrate higher levels of social facilitation through track athletes' performances by increasing at track meets versus practices in comparison to the athletes running sprints which rely on gross motor skills since running is a more innate and biological instinct. This is an experimental study and we are manipulating the independent variable which is the amount of people observing at a track meet versus at practice. This is to see the effect that it has on the dependent variable which is each player's performance between the discus, which is our fine motor skills, and sprinting, which is our gross motor skill, to see which is more affected by social facilitation. Some graphs showing the discus floor changes from practices to meets and the difference in times for sprinters for a practice or a meet time. There is a noticeable increase in every score of the discus throwers besides one decreasing when throwing at a meet versus throwing during practice. There's not a significant difference between the majority of the sprinter's performances at practices versus meets. This goes to show that social facilitation has a greater impact on learned fine motor skills versus gross motor skills. So discus throwers tend to go farther if a bigger crowd is around them, watching them, but for sprinters, the times are pretty consistent.